Hi, I'm Garrett from Armalite Rifles, and uh, I wanted to just show you how to check your disconnector to make sure it's working properly in your rifle. This is actually something that everyone should uh, know in case you buy a rifle uh, anywhere, really. You would like to always check to make sure that your trigger is working properly. So right here I have an AR-10, uh, basically a demonstration rifle. This is used for teaching armory classes and whatnot, show you the inner workings so you can kind of wrap your head about what's going on inside here. So uh, what we have here is our trigger group. This is a single stage military style trigger and the disconnector that we want to check is right here. It sits in the middle of the trigger itself. Okay, this is called the trigger shoe. This is the trigger disconnector and of course the hammer. The disconnector's purpose is to make sure it doesn't go fully auto, which is a, a bad thing. And don't worry, it's only gonna fire two, three times if it does fail before it jams. So it's not gonna be a weapon of war or anything. It's just gonna go and stop. So if that's happening to you, you need to do a check to make sure that it is, in fact, the disconnector. Okay, so real easy. You're going to make sure that your selector is on fire. You're going to check the chamber visually. Make sure that it is unloaded. You don't see any brass inside the chamber, which I do not, of course, because of what we're dealing with here. Uh, make sure your magazine is out uh, before you check your chamber, and then you're going to pull the trigger. You will see the hammer here fall forward. That's normal. Okay, at this point, I'm going to grab the charging handle, which is back here, and I'm going to pull it back and I'm going to release it. The whole time I'm holding my trigger to the rear and I'm not going to let go. Let it go forward. You should see your hammer uh, do exactly this, which is bound up by the disconnector. That's normal. What I'm gonna do now is let go of the trigger very slowly. You should hear it click, just like that. Now, you should pull the trigger again and you should see the hammer fall. Okay, the trigger is working as intended. You can do this several times to make sure it is working. I suggest at least three times. Make sure you do it very slowly, that is key. There is a more controlled way to do it, and that is you pull the trigger, pull the charging handle back, and here on the other side, you have the selector with your trigger pinning back, turn trigger pinned back, take your selector from fire to safe, it will cam your finger forward slowly, and essentially do the same thing. You can try both methods several times. Just make sure that disconnector is working and that is how you check that. So if you do have that and it is an Armalite product, get a hold of us and I'll have the email link below and we will help you out in getting that changed. Okay, have a good one.